Hi everyone, I'm Rob. I'm Heather. And today we're doing another cryptic crossword walkthrough. This time we're doing the Everyman crossword number 3843. So let's just get straight into it. Nice. Um, right, where to begin? Yeah, I think one down. Okay, so dates a herb, we're told. Um, so the answer to this one is time. Uh, when you have we're told in um, a clue, it often will mean that it's going to sound like. So a herb is time, spelled T-H-Y-M-E. Uh, sounds similar, different spelling, time, and that also means date. Yeah. Um, with this crossword, we did this one down, and we actually went round and did quite a few of these shorter clues, um, which sometimes are a little bit easier. We, we think sometimes they're a bit of an easier way in. So next one we looked at, two down. Um, audio tapes gripping a letter from Greece. So a Greek letter is iota. And if you look inside the word audio tape, you can see the letters of iota and gripping is a word that kind of signifies that they're held within the word audio tape. Greek letters are quite frequently used. We had one last week. Yeah, well. yeah. So every man so healthy knocked back enormous quantity of booze. So an enormous quantity of booze is a Methuselah. And um, that is a bottle of champagne, which is six times the size of a standard bottle. Um, so how did we get this? Well, every man is the setter of the crossword. It's the every man crossword. So they're referring to themselves there, me. Um, another word for so is thus. And then an archaic word for healthy is hail. But hail is knocked back so here we have it written in reverse there we go put it all together it's uh, an almost quantity of booze and i wouldn't worry if if you're thinking gosh i never would have come up with the word methuselah that's quite unusual well um i think the way that we kind of got the answer and then we managed to work it out afterwards uh just quantities of booze the things like the different champagne sizes that's just a sort of classic cryptic crossword thing you might think oh well um it probably is going to be some sort of weird um mag like thing larger than a magnum and i had in <laughs> i had in the back of my, my head that there was one maybe beginning with m didn't actually know it and then just quickly looked up the champagne bottle sizes oh methuselah there we go um then worked out afterwards that it fits with with all those yeah, um, you just had champagne on the brain. Yeah, um, right, let's... Uh, Should we do some more four letters? Yeah, some of these small ones. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is similar to last week. Primarily amicable, mamoiselle, I'll esteem. So that word primarily, often in these everyman crosswords, we notice means use the first letter of subsequent words. So if you do that here, you can take A-M-I-E, ami, it's the French for friend, so... A mademoiselle I'll esteem. Great. Um, fawn in pie crust. So another word for fawn is accru. Um, and you can actually see the word accru here inside pie crust. Um, and both are a kind of light beige colour. Yep. Now, where do we want to go next? I think carry on with these short ones actually. yeah yeah let's do that so join up with part of orchestra so one of the instruments in an orchestra is a tuba and if you take the word abut um well the word abut is another one for join and the join up here means spell it backwards and you get a word that means tuba mm-hmm and this is a nice clue. Look with eyes half closed, a parliamentarian. So this is actually double definition because a parliamentarian is a peer. And if you look with your eyes half closed, you peer. Yep. Now, another clue that we got very near the start, remember, is 18 down. So this one, skirt, it's chine, as regularly worn by divinity. Now... Something that jumps out here is the use of the word regularly. And quite often in these cryptic crosswords, 
if you see oddly or you see regularly, it might be referring to taking letters um, out of close words to that signifier. So here regularly means take the even letters. So if we look at the start of the clue and we take the second, fourth, sixth, eighth letter, then we actually spell, spell out, uh, sorry, Krishna. Mm -hmm. And Krishna is a Hindu god. So the definition is divin divinity. Perfect. Now we've got a few letters going across here, so mm -hmm. should we look at this one? Let's. So green with plan to recycle. Um, the answer is chartreuse. Um, and you can see that a plan is a chart and to recycle is to reuse. So you've actually stuck those two uh, different meanings together there. Yeah, and chartreuse is a type of green. Which is probably the main thing to point out. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, 26 across. Fibre provided by pathetic meals, moderate sandwiches. I quite like this one. The answer is a type of fibre. It's camel's hair. And the way that this works is, mod if you look at the end, you've got moderate sandwiches. Well, that, another way of reading that moderate is as moderate. So a word that means moderate is chair, C-H-A-R-A-I-R, -A -R, and sandwiches just indicates that that's going around the edge of the rest of the clue. So pathetic meals, well, pathetic is an anagrind signifying that the letters in meals can be moved around and you put that inside chair and you get camel's hair, which is a type of fibre. Mm -hmm. I think... That K might help us get 17 across. Yes, uh, controlled creep by Eck. Um, so here the answer is in Czech. Um, the use of the word Eck here we thought was a bit odd and probably um, probably signified that we're just going to include that three letter three letter word somewhere because it's not going to anagram to signify that we need to um, change it around and also it, it's not really a very common word yeah it sort of sticks out doesn't it why why was the why is the crossword setter just put ek at the end of that clue and actually we already had this k so add ek to the end um and then you've got um creep another word for creep is to inch and if you're controlled you're in check so that that worked quite nicely in the end absolutely now I'm going to do 19 down. So to some extent commend or second. This is in fact letters hidden inside the answer. We can see endorse spelt out there. And endorse means to second. Yeah, so when it says to some extent, it's saying these words commend or second to some extent. I'll let you do that one. Yeah, this one's actually a similar clue. Um, Abacita Xeroxes retrospective includes unusual items. So includes kind of signifies that we've got letters just inside the start of the clue here. And retrospective indicates that they're going backwards. So spelled out backwards is the word exotica, which are, of course, unusual items. Mm -hmm. How about seven down right well this answer is micronesia the clue being witches and i end up touring pacific lands um another word for witches is crones which you have in the middle um obviously a pacific land is micronesia um and then it has and i end up touring so another word for end is aim and here we have aim written backwards with this I also included um, and they're touring around the word witches which we have already established was crones um, so quite quite a uh, complex yep now eight down receiving pursuit shake a rein of a horse 
the definition here is of a horse and another word that means that is equestrian and the wordplay part of the clue receiving pursuit well a quest is pursuit and then shake a rain shake means take the letters of a rain rearrange them and put those around the edge giving you a question so we go to 16 across yeah perhaps bambi seen in rejigged order ina's introduction included twice um so last week we had perhaps pen and that was a type of swan here we have perhaps bambi and that is a type of deer because bambi is a deer thank you roe deer <laughs> um which is a species of deer um and so how do we get this well rejigged order already that is jumping out at me that that is an anagrind and we're going to have to move around the words of order um which we have here and then ina's introduction included twice um so the introduction of ina is this letter e and as it's included twice we're going to have a double e hence dear we've got the double e there and as they're seen in you can you can see that they are seen in the middle of that anagrinded uh, order. Yep. Right. Let Let's go back over to this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty three across. So mother getting in on Sultan's territory. Well, four letter word that could be a Sultan's territory or a country that's ruled by a sultan. An answer could be Oman. And a word that means mother is ma. So ma getting inside the word on gives Oman. Great. Um, just trying to remember the order here. Oh yeah, let's do 20 across mm. next. So what might rattle mid-worst snow? Again, looking at these words, mid-worst snow doesn't really make sense as a standalone phrase. Um, and this word rattle is signifying that you might want to mix those letters around a bit to make an anagram. And indeed, if you do that, you can get... Storm windows. Yes, giving away the second half of the word there. Storm windows, um, which indeed might rattle in a storm. Or yeah. They might rattle full stop. <laughs> oh yeah. So three down, quite like this one. Measure of alcohol, a kind of sherry is trifle ingredient. Well, this one is a trifle ingredient. It's double cream and at the start, we've got a measure of alcohol, which is a double, then a kind of sherry, cream sherry, put it together and you get the trifle ingredient. Mm. So I think we can do one across now. Yeah, Trip had tryout of some insurance policies. Um, a type of insurance you get is third party insurance. So that is the answer. Um, you're going to have to remind me how we got this. Yeah, that's another anagram. So trip had try out. So out signifies mm. that those letters are out of order. Rearrange them and you get third party. Yeah. Okay, five down. Uh, I'll oh, take yeah. this one. Yeah, go on then. Because um, I do like this one. Uh, it's basically a double definition. Uh, well, it's a double meaning because what might affect an athlete's career in one of two ways? A trainer might because they are a type of shoe that an athlete would wear and also a coach that an athlete would have to train them. Yep. And this one is another anagram, 11 across. So many. Yeah, romantic tale is long sworded novel. And you've got to look out for the word novel in these cryptic crosswords because I'd say about half the time it's re referring to an actual novel. Um, <laughs> and then the other half of the time it means and there's going to be an anagram. So a novel ordering of the the words next to it. Funny enough, is this one both? Yeah, this one is actually a bit of both, I suppose. So, novel is signifying the anagram of is long sorted. You can rearrange those and you get sliding 
Doors, which is a romantic tale. Right, let's go movie here. We've got a lot of the letters that we'd need twelve down. Let's go. Well, let's let, let's let's do four down next. I think. Fair. I'll allow you to see that one. Reformed Duke. I agree. Newspaper boss to cover. So the answer is amended, and that's another word that means reformed. And I agree. Amen. Newspaper boss to cover. Now we we had a lot of time trying to work out exactly what was going on with we the word don't play know. here. Uh, and the long and short of it is we're still not completely sure, but it fits and means reformed. Duke shortened could be D E or D K or perhaps just D. So that seems to be in there and the amens in there. But uh, I'd welcome any comments as to exactly how that one works because I'm not totally sure. Okay, do you want to do this one? Yes. Uh, our favourite, Spoonerism. Yes. Um, it's not our favourite, by the way. We 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 uh, we don't really like Spooner, please. Um, Dowart rival displayed impatience for Spooner. So as we said last week, a Spoonerism is where you'll switch the first letter of normally two words around. Um, so if you're Dower, you can be described as Poe faced. Um, so. First of all, if you're a rival to somebody, you can be described as their foe. And if um, you displayed impatience, then it would be paced, as in fast paced. So that gives you foe paced, and then, as already mentioned, switch the two letters around at the start, and you get poe faced. Very nice. Um, 13 down. This one had us puzzling for quite a while turns before doc that's damper well because of the way the clues formed it seems likely that if it's a damper then we're going to have a word that means turns followed by a word that means doc overall giving something that means damper and at the end you could fit port which means doc but then we need a word that means turns at the start and it's not as I think the thing that stumped us for a while is we thought this was going to be spinning or something related to that, but it's actually spoil. Spoils, and put that together, spoil sport is a, another word for a damper. Yeah, so more turns in the case of goes off, obviously. Um, a heartless romance leads to bother for lover. Um, this is aficionado, who is um, a lover. Um, a heartless romance, you've got A, fiction, without the T, the T being the heart, hence it is heartless. And then this leads to bother, so it leads to a word which means bother, which is a do. Very nice. Um, 25 across, another of your favourite clues, do you want to do that one? No, I don't. <laughs> really? No, go so, on. It's all yours. Okay, 25 across, the answer is Thor, he's a god who happens to fit then the wordplay part of it I'm not sure I've actually seen this used before um, but person with lisps angry well I think what's going on here is the word saw is a synonym for angry and if you pronounce it with a lisp of course for okay right the last clue 12 down Wren has designs for this political assembly. Now this is another one that had us a little bit stumped for a while um, because probably because of the Wren at the start. So I can think of two meanings for the word Wren. Christopher Wren, the famous architect and polymath um, and the bird Wren. Well we thought for a long time well this has got to be to do with Christopher Wren. thought we were quite clever coming up with that. Because, um, because of the word designs really. It yeah, does fit with the Yeah, thing. Yeah so the crossword um, setter threw us off a little bit thinking it was going to be an expression that means plans um, but actually that's not not true. The answer is, re is related to the bird Wren and Wren has designs for this is a kind of fancy way of saying what the Wren might want for lunch and so diet of worms is the answer and 
Political assembly, assembly at the end is another definition for diet of worms, which is referring to the um, famous assembly of leaders of the Roman Empire, which happened every hundred years or so from, I think, 800 to 1500. Of course, I knew this all before doing the crosswords. <laughs> uh, um, no, actually, I didn't. And I think this is a nice thing about doing cryptic crosswords is you... I always like to kind of look up something afterwards and learn a little bit more about it. So, yeah, the Diet of Worms, most famous meeting of this political assembly was in 1521 when there was a um, Martin Luther getting involved, um, doing lots of stuff with the Protestant Reformation. So, yeah, pretty, pretty big deal. Um, didn't actually know about it before, but yeah, Diet of Worms. So, yeah, very interesting uh, and enjoyable crossword, I thought. Very enjoyable. Got a lot of nice clues in lot. there. Yeah. Um, hope that was useful for you. And see you next week.